Travis Scott is the worst person I worked with in my entire career in music. Eight people are dead and hundreds more injured after Travis Scott's callous, reckless behavior at Astroworld. And I hate to be the one saying this, but I saw this coming and I tried to tell everyone. The story that DDOT is telling is true. I'm Travis Scott's former manager. I'm the one who had a seizure and I'm the one that he left for dead in a basement in Los Angeles. I originally told my account in 2013 and then it recirculated on Reddit about six years ago. The stories coming out of Astroworld and all the videos documenting the evidence are quite clear and they align with what I know about Travis Scott. When he sees people in harm or danger, he tends to only continue thinking about himself. And to make it worse, he's been doing this for years at other concerts. I could go on and on about the theft of sessions, assaults, and all the lies that he's told in his career, but the thing that I want you to understand most is this. I think it's time to spill a little tea, as the kids on the internet say, and I don't mind doing this because Travis Scott is genuinely a horrible person. So in 2009, when I met Travis Scott, I was running a site called Earmilk.com with my friends Trey and Blake. Uh, and I was a junior level software engineer and I had just finished working for MySpace Music. So I worked in the technology side of music. For Travis, what we did was fake his popularity. I programmed a fleet of SoundCloud bots to artificially inflate his play counts on SoundCloud. This told record label executives that he was much more popular than he actually was. We also did the same thing early on with Twitter. You may have noticed, and somebody made a joke about it, that his early followers could make an omelet because they were all eggs. Uh, we used software to enhance his visibility uh, via... Um, the wrong means. <laughs>